All right, guys, so I'm actually filming this for the second time because the first time I filmed it, I had the webcam down here the whole time and I basically covered up all the important parts of the system. So we're gonna do it again and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a sticker, which is a GIF with a clear background for Instagram. So we're using Photoshop and you may have never used Photoshop to make GIFs before. So what I wanna do is show you how to make a GIF in a basic way and you can either copy exactly that or hopefully through learning how to do it in a basic way, you learn how to do it in a more advanced way as well because it's basically exactly the same thing. You're just adding frames and movements and all sorts of other things. So this is how you make a GIF on Photoshop and make it end up on the Instagram app, which is super cool. It actually will be on, and I'm gonna put this one up that we made today on Instagram and it'll be on anyone's phone that has Instagram anywhere in the world it'll be available as a gift, as a sticker for them to use. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring up the timeline section in Photoshop. You may have never used this before if you've never made a GIF. So if you look down the bottom here, there's actually a timeline button there, which I can just double click or single click and it pops up. Or if I put that back down again, because you don't have that little button there, then you can go to the window section up the top, scroll all the way down, and then you've got the timeline button right there. Click on that and it'll bring up the timeline. But I'm gonna drag it up here just so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm gonna zoom out the picture a little bit. So this is the GIF that we're making here. And down here is your timeline and it's gonna have layers just like you've got layers over here. And what you're doing is you're creating a timeline here using frames that end up becoming a sticker. So all I'm gonna do to get this GIF started is I'm gonna create a second layer. And all I'm gonna do is just click on this one here, Control C, copy and Control V for paste. And I'm gonna move this one over in the timeline to the next section. So if I press play on it, you can see these two layers are in different spots, so it moves like that. Now, that could be a GIF right there. That's two different images that go over 10 frames. They're slightly in different spots, but when you put them together, then it creates a moving sticker. So you could save that right now, and that would be one. But I'm gonna show you a different way to use it and kind of hopefully teach you how it actually works. So I just wanna send this second one again, just to make sure that we're keeping them the same. Okay, so now the frames are exactly the same. So all we have now is a longer GIF of it actually not moving at all. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to the second one here, I'm gonna highlight it, and you can see it's highlighted here as a second layer in the layers panel. And I wanna make it just a tiny little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hold shift and drag it in so it's a little bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna center it again on the image, done. Now I'm gonna copy that just like I did before, paste it just using a control C, control V. And I'm gonna drag it down underneath just to keep it a little bit simpler. And I'm gonna drag it to the third position. Now you can see this one here. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Center it. Now you can see what we're doing here. It's actually getting smaller as it goes down. And then I'm gonna copy this number two here again. Paste it again, drag it down. You don't have to drag it down, but to me it just makes more sense to be, as it progresses, it actually uh, moves along the timeline. I'm gonna leave that on how it is, so you can see it gets smaller, smaller again, back up to that one, and then it'll go back to the start. So if I press play, that's a GIF. So it's kind of like doing a bit of a pulse kind of thing, which I really like. Now, for me, that's a little bit slow, so I'll show you how to adjust the timing of your frames. So if I stop that, all I'm gonna do is grab it here and just drag it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna drag it to half. So now I'll move these ones over. It's really important. These are some other settings here. I'll just close that because we're not actually gonna use them for this. But everything you do when you're making a GIF is just like what I'm doing now, is you're just adjusting an image to move in a different way. So in this case, we're making it smaller, but you could rotate it, you could make it change colors, you could change the image completely. And as long as it moves in a timeline like this, then it can become a GIF or a sticker. So if I press play now, you can see that's a lot smoother because it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna leave that, that's perfect. And I'll stop. And that's it, that's how you make a GIF. Essentially, all you're doing is every frame, you're changing to make it slightly different. And you can always press play here and check what it looks like. Uh, you never want it to move too much in the frame, otherwise it looks too kind of blocky. Um, but I mean, sometimes that's the effect you're looking for. So best thing to do is just jump in, experiment with it, try out different things, see what works for you. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna show you how to save it as a GIF properly. And I'm gonna upload it to Instagram. So if you actually checked on your phone right now, if you search Jack Bing on the Instagram app, uh, you'll be able to find it. So here's how we save. Instead of just going file save as, like you normally would for a JPEG or anything else, what you actually wanna do is you wanna go export, and you wanna come down here to save for web. So you'll get this window come up here, 
There's a couple of things that you want to check. Firstly, up here that it's a GIF, not a JPEG or anything else. You want to make sure it's definitely a GIF, that's very important. And then you've got your looping options down here. See how it says forever? If it says once and I click play, that's the GIF, it just stops. So you want to make sure it's forever so that it actually loops always. There it is. When you watch it in playback here, it's not showing it at full speed. When you watch it in Photoshop, that's how it's going to look. So you'll see that actually looks a little bit slower as it's going through the frames. So I'll click save. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to go Jack Bing. Instagram GIF and that's done ready to go so I've created a video already on showing you how to make a Giphy account and I'll put that just above me there uh, that's how you make a business Giphy account so that you can actually upload your images and they go on Instagram I've already done that so I'm gonna upload it now and you can check your phone it'll be on there and that's how easy it is so I hope you learned something today I hope you learn how to make gifts uh, in a basic sense and I hope that you can explore it yourself to try and create something uh, different and improve on your gift making. So if you enjoyed it guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If it worked for you, let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. I try and keep these nice and short and simple so hopefully you guys learn something and I'll see you guys in the next video.